Does science solely and factually support the claims of evolution? In other words, does science say evolution is factually true, totally accurate, and, 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 and science says it supports the, the views of evolution? They'll say that, but let's back up and think about this a little bit. It was, it was because of the, the naturalistic worldview that evolutionary theory was actually developed. Because of naturalism, we developed scientific theories of evolution. Mm -hmm. And because of naturalism, people were desirous of not only developing those theories, but finding evidence for it. So a whole bunch of very smart people uh, over a long period of time have been collecting data, collecting evidence. So we have scientific theories for evolution. We have evidence for evolution. We have amassed a fair bit of ev evidence for evolution. And they develop curricula for our schools that make the argument that because this data is true, this evidence is true, evolution must be true. That's what is claimed. But they have to. Again, the naturalist has to do that. It's sort of a desperation now, attempt. Now, I've got to stop you there because I, I don't know how many of us really get that because I didn't really understand that until I met with you a couple of times. And, and what you're, what you, correct me uh, if, if you need to hear, but what, what you're saying is that evolution was developed after a worldview of naturalism became prominent. In other words, when people began to believe that there is no God, when they wanted to talk about there being no supernatural, that was believed first, and then evolution was kind of forced into being the origin of, of, of the story of origin for that philosophy. That's correct. If you go back at the history of evolutionary theory, you're going to find that the first conceptual, those that brought evolution in conceptually were all naturalists. And those that developed the evolutionary theory itself have been dominantly naturalists ever since. So it's again because you, if you're a naturalist you just have to believe in some sort of theory. That, in, that induced or forced the creation of evolutionary theory. And, and so although we, and it is true, that there is a theory of evolution that's scientific and evidenced and so on and so forth. I would argue that the evidence is actually more in favor of alternate ways of looking at the world, but it, it's, they have to make the argument that it's the only way. 